how's everybody doing today? Um, sorry it's been a while. You know, it's been about a month or so since I gave you an update on a video. <clears throat> you're probably wondering uh, what you're looking at right now. Um, the reason I haven't been posting anything is because we just moved uh, a few weeks ago. So <clears throat> the previous food forest garden is uh, left behind and it's going to be in good hands with the, the owners of the property there and um, you know, I got them a good start on some fruit trees and a good foundation for a nice garden space. Um, so here we get to start from fresh, start all over again. I'm going to be bringing you guys along to show you kind of from the very beginning step by step. Um, and I hope you enjoy the ride. So kind of just, you know, to start out here, we got our standard lawn, grass, backyard. Um, got a little space out there with the chickens right now. They're going to be uh, taking care of that space, getting it ready for a, a garden area. Um, and, you know, the house came with a shed, so that was really nice. And then we had our other shed from when we moved before, and uh, so now we got plenty of, plenty of storage space here. Um, I was able to bring along a few things in pots to kind of help me get started out here at the new place. Um, so here again, that's a future food forest just sitting there, ready to be planted. As you can see in the background, um, we already got the uh, tree service guys to come and dump a few loads. So we're going to have to start working diligently and getting those loads spread. Um, so we can get more because right now it's blocking the pathway for them to get back and uh, eventually, you know, I'm going to fill up this entire backyard All wood chips. It's all going to be a, a uh, forest style garden, you know, with trees mixed in with annual vegetables So here's a view of the side um, basically, you know, my property line runs over here and the tree service trucks, I want to get them a path to go back into the backyard and dump. So I got to get all these spread out and give them, give them a driveway to, to go down. Um, I got a little nice garden started here, some pineapple, basil, and some French sorrel. So, uh, you know, start small, right? You get started in this small spot. And we'll work our way up. Uh, I got a couple of tomatoes planted here and the kids actually got all the gardening started off without me. Uh, they got this got this going. Uh, neighbor gave them some plumeria cuttings so we got those in the ground. Um, got some strawberry plants. There's a volunteer tomato growing up there next to the strawberries. My daughter's chocolate mint is growing, looking good. That's a transplant from the old, the old house. That'll take off, no problem. Got a uh, pepper plant. So this is another view of all the stuff we have in pots, ready to go. Some blackberries, the perennial cucumber right here. Oh, look at that. That one's raring to go. I need to get that one planted soon. Pineapple, some fig trees, banana trees, uh, some basil, jackfruit, mulberry, cranberry hibiscus. So lots of good stuff. Hi back, you wanna smile for the camera? Smile for the camera. Beck's spoiled now. He gets to live out on the back porch. He's got his own little cushy pillow. So before he used to just have to stay outside with the goats all the time, but now he's got a nice shaded area. Gets a nice view of the backyard. He'll be the food forest patrol. Right, Beck? All right, got to spend a little time today spreading out the mulch. You can see we're getting the driveway down pretty good. Um, this pile is almost 
done and clear it out. There's part of my crew helping out. So what are we doing here? Huh? What are we doing here? Making a driveway for the truck driver. <laughs> Put the steam in. Laying down the cardboard. With the steam in compost. And putting the mulch right over it. So for now, this is going to be a driveway so the drivers can get all back in there and dump. But eventually one day, this will be a perfectly good spot to grow stuff. So this is a pretty cool view that uh, is going to be different and nice to see down the road. We got a two-story house. I'm up here on the second story. Kind of a bird's eye view of the whole area. So this is, this is day one starting out all over again. So enjoy the journey.